Yep, yep. Definitely ripping off just between us now. Hello, and welcome to Amazingly Average, the show with advice for Amazingly Average authors and actors. My name is John, and I'm filming this whole thing on my phone because I only have access to the internet on my laptop about two weeks out of the year if I use my Wi-Fi on my phone at my apartment. Otherwise, I run out of data, and I can't edit this at a Starbucks right now, so we're doing something. My name is John, and I'm currently training to do the splits. Yeah, it's not really happening right now. I'm flexible yet brittle, so like if SpongeBob had arthritis. Today's tip is for the amazingly average authors out there. C D cross dressing. Okay, so I learned this very stupid tutorial on TikTok how to make a makeshift dress, where you basically just take a pair of stretchy pants, you put both of your legs through one side, and then you take the other leg, you put your head through one, two, three. Shablam. She's a woman! Sorry, mom. But like, why does this look so good? It actually stands for Create Deadlines. Yeah, so I had a hunch about three days before everything got shut down that things were gonna go pretty bad, and thankfully my janitor job is not shut down yet, so I went to the grocery store, I bought paints, canvases, food, everything shut down, and I'm still working. And to the manager Vice, when I got my restaurant job that told me I should quit my janitor job and work at the restaurant full time, Next time America shuts down, remember the janitors that had your back by wiping down the doorknobs and scrubbing your toilets. Sorry, that was off topic. There are frequently times in my life where I've said, if I just had enough time to do this, if I didn't have to go wait tables, blah, 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 I could do this. I had um, two feature film scripts that I've wanted to be writing for a while now and have not had the chance to sit down and do, and I did it. I even had this painting I had to work on for a client, and I did it. Don't stay away. Yeah, I don't wanna fall asleep, I don't wanna pass away. I've been thinking of our future cause I'll never see those days. I so Tuesday, March 17th was the first formal day that my restaurant was shut down and it's kind of a blessing in disguise because it's super easy to burn out on customer service. I actually took down a piece of paper and I wrote down every single day of the month and then I wrote down a list of tasks that I wanted to do. By putting them into these easy little digestible little bites of a goal for every single day to accomplish those big tasks made things a lot easier. There's actually this trick that I've learned, um, a way that helps make you more productive during the day is uh, the more things you accomplish, the more chemicals get released in your brain to make it easier to focus and determine and ambitious. So you can actually just start by making your bed in the morning and doing that one task that you're able to accomplish helps boost your productivity in the day. Hmm. So a problem with that is I realized when I put 15 pages per day for a script, uh, I was underestimating how much time it's take to sit down and write that as well as to do research because I was writing something that took place in the 1950s. I would write until about seven in the morning, fall asleep, and then wake up at 2 p.m., go clean, come home, work again. And I was, <laughs> I was becoming a night owl to the point where everyone would be texting me while I'm sleeping. Yeah, I overloaded March a tiny little bit. I didn't finish by March 31st. I actually finished on April 2nd, which is fine. I'll take it, because now I have two feature film scripts in the can, at least the first drafts. Um, you also have to allow for unforeseen tasks to come up. Like I actually had a film an audition from an agent, which I wasn't expecting because all of our gigs have gone dark. Big tip though for anybody that gets stuck working late hours into the night with very little stimulation and try not to go mad. I just go onto YouTube and I type in the lo-fi hip hops. That's like the 24 hour continuous stream of music. I even got to write and sell three short scripts to Mr. Dark Productions in State College, Pennsylvania. Thank you, Pablo. <laughs> Bought my groceries. The quarantine has been extended to March 6th, so I am actually continuing what I was doing there. I've written out all the days of the month of April. I started writing some tasks. I did not finish all of the tasks yet per day because that's actually one of my tasks I think tomorrow. <laughs> finish your list. <laughs> On a side note, I need to say something a little more maybe motivational, but you have to be brave enough to fail to do anything, whether it be in writing or filmmaking. And 
whatever your goals are, the people close to you, like my significant other, will be so eager to help you realize your goal that it's actually a strength to be able to ask people for help and to realize that other people's specialties are not um, a poor reflection of yourself. It's okay to realize that somebody is better at something and ask them for help and then bring what you do really well to the table as well. I can't even do my knock-knock joke that I have scripted because I don't have access to my <laughs> to my computer's internet. I can't do what's in John's mug either because I can't pull up that. There's so much at this episode that I can't do because I just don't have access to the internet on my laptop. So if you like this video, for the love of God, write it on a piece of paper and stick to it. It makes it so much easier. If not, then just go outside. No, please don't do that. That is very irresponsible. I have seen three people in person in the last two and a half weeks, and it is making me go a little crazy. Amazingly average. Also, quick post video memo here. If anyone wants to commission me to write something for them or paint something for them, please comment below so we can get some sort of email exchange going because desperate times ask for desperate measures. <laughs> please don't make me pimp myself out.